Your midsection is the body part that reveals to the world whether you're in or out of shape. When your stomach is flat with razor sharp delineation, it rivets people's eyes to your physique and is hard proof that you're an energetic, athletic individual. This is the very reason that a muscular midsection is a top priority of every body conscious person alive, man or woman. Unfortunately, most people have been missing the boat as far as abdominal training goes. The reason is that the abs' true range of motion has been ignored. For example, the standard ab crunch has been hailed as the best all-around ab developer. But once you analyze it, you'll see that it's really only half an ab movement. The full range of motion for the rectus abdominis is 30 degrees past the point at which the floor stops your movement during standard crunches. In other words, to train your abdominals through a complete range, your back must arch prior to your pulling into a contracted position. By arching, you pre-stretch your abdominals, activate the myotatic reflex, and create more force in the target muscles with each rep. This pre-stretch helps you work the muscle more efficiently and effectively, which means you get faster, more complete development with fewer sets. It also forces other midsection muscles to come into play, such as the internal and external obliques. Let's analyze the midsection structure and functions, and then construct a number of powerful ab routines you can use to chisel your midsection as quickly as possible. When we talk about abdominals, we're really focusing on the rectus abdominis. Although it looks like a number of knotty masses, it's actually one sheet-like muscle running from the bottom of the rib cage down to the pelvis. The delineated ripples are caused by tendons running horizontally and vertically, not by separate muscle structures. This muscle has two primary functions. One, it pulls your rib cage down toward your pelvis, and two, it curls your hips toward your torso. While both actions involve the entire rectus abdominis muscle, some research indicates that pulling your rib cage down tends to place more stress on the upper region, and rolling your hips up puts more emphasis on the lower area. Although these findings are debatable, they nevertheless reinforce the fact that you should work both functions for the best abdominal development possible. Another thing you should keep in mind when picking your ab exercises or movements for any body part is that while isolating the target muscle is important, you mustn't neglect synergy or muscle teamwork. Movements such as hanging knee ups and hip curls work the abdominals with the help of the hip flexor muscles, much like squats work the quadriceps with the help of the gluteal muscles. When you include compound muscle teamwork movements, as well as isolation exercises, you get the most complete development possible as quickly as possible. Here are the key points to remember when you're constructing your ultimate ab routine. 1. Work your abs through a full range of motion. Don't neglect the back arched position that pre-stretches the rectus abdominis. 2. Train both of the rectus abdominis functions which include a movement that pulls your rib cage toward your pelvis, often called upper ab work, as well as one that curls your hips toward your torso, or so-called lower ab work. 3. Exercises that isolate the abs are important, but don't forget to include compound movements, those that hit the abs with the help of other muscle groups, such as the hip flexors. Armed with these three important tips, Let's construct a number of power-packed ab etching programs that will chisel your midsection. Routines that are so efficient they take less than 10 minutes each to complete. Routine 1 is a weight-free routine that you can train with at home or on vacation when there's no equipment available. You only need two movements to cover the three ab training bases mentioned earlier, and the entire routine is quick and to the point. 
The first exercise is the lying hip curl. This exercise accomplishes two objectives. First, it trains the entire rectus abdominis with the help of the hip flexors. As you pull your knees toward your chest, your hip flexors and abdominal muscles work together for a powerful synergistic effect, much like your triceps, chest and shoulders working together during a bench press. Be sure to use a slow cadence so that you don't involve momentum and keep your hands on the floor for support. Second, when you pull your knees into your chest as you pull your hips off the floor, you're working the abs hip curl function. You'll feel your abs contracting hard. Squeeze for a count before lowering to the starting position. The next exercise is the crunch, but with a variation that makes it much more effective than the standard version. Do the exercise while lying upside down on a couch or padded chair. Position yourself so that your lower back and hips are resting on the seat cushion, your feet are supported on the back of the chair or couch, and your upper back is hanging off the end of the seat. With nothing supporting your upper back, you can pre-stretch your abdominals prior to each crunch. Just be careful not to overstretch. As you crunch, force your hips down against the seat cushion and curl your torso so that you can squeeze your abs hard at the top. Don't do a sit-up, but slowly bend your spine as you pull your rib cage toward your pelvis. Stop when your rectus abdominis is completely contracted and hold for a count then slowly uncurl your torso. Begin the next rep as your lower back arches slightly to pre-stretch your abs. This is one of the fastest, most effective freehand ab routines you can do. With two to three sets each of these two exercises, you've trained your abs through the full range of motion, worked the torso curl function and hip curl function, and hit your midsection with muscle synergy. Here's how Granite Abs Routine 1 looks. Granite Abs Routine 1 Freehand Synergy and Hip Curl Function Lying Hip Curls 2 sets, 8 to 10 reps each Pre-stretch and Torso Curl Function Full Range Crunches 2 to 3 sets, 8 to 10 reps each to perform lying hip curls correctly, 1. Keep your legs crossed at the ankles and your knees bent. 2. Concentrate on curling your hips towards your navel as you exhale. Inhale as you lower your legs. 3. Do each rep with a 2 seconds up, 2 seconds down cadence to prevent momentum. 4. Hold for a count at the top of each rep and contract your abs. To perform crunches with lower back support correctly, 1. Lie upside down on a couch or padded chair so that your feet are supported on the back. Your hips and lower back are resting on the seat cushion and your upper back is extending off the seat. 2. Force your hips down into the seat cushion as you pull up and exhale. 3. Focus on curling up by curving your spine. Don't sit up with a flat back. 4. When your rectus abdominis is completely contracted, hold for a count and then slowly release. If you can only do two or three repetitions of the full range crunches, do those reps, then get on the floor and continue with regular crunches until you can't manage another rep you'll eventually get stronger so that you no longer have to resort to standard half-range crunches.